guys, Taylor Swift just freaking slayed her performance on Good Morning America. But we figured you out, we all know now, we all got crowns. Taylor sang two singles off her new album, Lover, in front of a massive crowd in New York's Central Park, bringing the house down with me. Promise that you'll never find another like me. And just watch her kill it singing You Need to Calm Down. Of course, Taylor had to bring back fan favorite and my personal life anthem, her 2014 hit Shake It Off. Just look at that crowd, you guys. Taylor's fans aren't messing around. The fans were here just camping out overnight. Yeah, you heard that right. They slept on the street in New York City to watch Taylor. That is some serious loyalty. And it didn't go unnoticed by Taylor and her team. Your dad was actually out handing out pizza overnight. My dad was <laughs> handing out pizza. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it just, it blow, it's, as a family, like, it blows our mind that, that people would want to do that. Like, like, you know, for my parents, they're like, that's my kid. People are waiting on the sidewalk to see her sing. Like, that's, it's really astonishing to us. Before Taylor was shaking it off on stage, she sat down with Robin Roberts to spill some serious tea, including this little tidbit about her upcoming MTV Video Music Awards performance. I'm opening the show, so that's exciting. I don't know if I was supposed to say that. <laughs> but you actually, did. But I've done it now, so can't take it back. Oopsie. Taylor also talked about her new album and why it holds a particularly special place in her heart. I mean, one thing about this album that's really special to me is that it's the first one that I will own yeah. of my work. You've probably heard about Taylor's recent message calling out Scooter Braun for buying her masters when he joined Big Machine Records, claiming that she, quote, pleaded for a chance to own her work, but was instead, quote, given an opportunity to sign back up to Big Machine Records and earn one album back at a time, one for every new one I turned in. I think that artists deserve to own their work. I just feel very passionately about that. She decided to leave Big Machine and signed with Universal and, well, Taylor pulled a badass boss move, revealing recently that she plans to re-record her old music. That's true and it's something that I'm very excited about doing because my contract says that starting November 